Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about struct data type in Solidity. So what is a struct data type? A struct data type is actually a complex data type. And what is a complex data type? A complex data type is usually a composite of other existing data types. So till now, whatever data types that we have seen so far were very simple data types, right? For example, if we talk about UNT data type, it can only store UNT elements. If we talk about arrays, so arrays can only store homogeneous element. But let's say I want to store the details of a student. Now student can have multiple properties. For example, student will have its own role number, his own name, or let's say his marks, or all, all different things are associated with a single student. Now, in cases like these, where we have multiple properties and all these properties are of different data types, we use struct. So for example, if I want to create a struct data type of a student, this is how it will look. So your struct, this is how you define struct data type. So struct student string name. So this will store the name of this student. UNT role, this will actually store the role number of this student. And then you have this bull pass, which will actually store whether the student is pass or fail. And in memory, it will look something like this. So this single data type, if you will see, is representing all these three different properties. And all these three different properties are of different data types, right? Name is of string data type, role number is of UID data type, and pass is of bull data type. So now if you want to store student details, we can easily store them with the help of using this struct data type. And how do we declare struct data type? So we declare struct data type like this. So struct type, then public, then var name. Again, public is totally optional. And this variable name, it's your choice. And struct type means, let's say I want to create a data type of this student type, then I will write student. Okay, so student, public, and this will be your variable name. So like whenever you create a UINT data type, your UINT data type stores UINT variables, right? UINT elements actually. So whenever you write UINT public v1, so this v1 can store all the integer values. In the same way, when you are writing student public s1, this student data type can hold all these different values. And how it is? Let us see this on our Remix ID. So now let us create one struct data type variable. Okay, so first of all, we need to define struct student okay and then the name of the student and roll number of the student and in the same way let's say the passing value of the student whether the student is pass or fail so if the student is pass we will assign true and otherwise if he is fail or she is fail then we will assign false to it okay now let's say i want to create the data type of this student struct so i will write student then public and then let's say s1 okay now, if I want to insert some element inside this struct data type, I need to create one function, okay, insert. And in this, I will assign the name, sorry, the name will be in string type, right? So string, and again, memory, because this is a reference data type, the name, and uint roll number, so like this, and then we will have bool pass, okay? And then since we are going to change the state variable, so we will not write view or pure, we will simply do curly braces. Now inside this, if you want to insert, if you want to insert some element inside this, you know, all these variables, I need to first of all point to this particular struct. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, first of all, instead of writing name is equal to name, okay, if you are going to write name equal to name, this will give you an error. Because this name is nothing, right? This name is actually a part of this struct data type. So for that, for that, I need to use S1 dot name. So this S1 will actually help us in pointing this structure, and then we can easily assign the value to this name variable. So in this, when we created this S1 variable, this S1 variable started pointing towards this structure. And now when we are doing S1, dot name so what we are trying to do is we are trying to use this s1 as a reference and then we are assigning some value to this name variable in the same way when i want to assign some value to this role i will write s1 dot role and then i will assign some value to it okay so this is how you can use how you can actually insert elements into your structure so if you will go back right again i have to insert 
the roll number as well i will write s1 dot roll okay and then the roll number that i will pass and then s1 dot pass in this i will assign the value okay like this so in this way you can insert elements inside your structure and let's say if you want to return some elements then you have to simply write function then getter okay and then you will write public since this is your straight variable you will write view returns let's say you want to return all the elements that are part of your structure then what you will do is you will write student okay because your structure is of student type and then you will write memory why memory because your struct is also a reference data type so like we have studied in arrays and we have studied in, stru uh, in strings we have to do the same with struct data type as well and then inside this i can do return and i can return the whole struct data type let us deploy this let us go down so here if you will see i can insert some element but before calling this insert let me show you the initial value of all these variables so if i will call s1 or if i will call uh, getter also so if you will see by default all the values are their initial by default values means if you will see string is empty okay that's why we have this empty I, I do not know whether you are able to see or not so let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that this is empty then you have this zero by default value of uint data type is zero so that's why it is zero and then you have this false okay let me zoom out again okay now in the same way if you will call s1 also you will see the same result so name empty roll number zero and false okay now let's say i want to insert some element to this struct right so what i will do is i will write uh, let's say my name is chitej so i will write chitej i know it's a complicated name and then let's say my roll number is one and i am pass okay so i am pass i will click on transact oh this transaction is successful now i will call getter and if you will see now chitej one and true and s1 if i will call again chitej one and true so this is how you can insert elements inside your structure but there is also one more way by with the help of which you can insert elements inside your structure because currently you can see that uh, let's say i have 10 elements here so using like this this particular uh, syntax is a very tedious process right again again i have to write s1 dot s1 dot roll and like this right so it's a complicated process so what i can do instead i can instead of writing this whole thing what i can do is i can write s1 okay like this and then equal to and then i will use my student data type and inside this i will do name then roll number and then pass so you can do this as well so this will also insert elements inside your structure okay and let me show you this so that you can see that as well so i am again deploying this and now if i will call s1 again it will be totally empty now i want to insert some element again i will do let's say my channel name so code eater by this i will be able to do some brand promotion as well and then uh, let's say two and then i am again pass and then i will call insert so now this transaction is successful now i'm calling s1 so you can clearly see code eater then the roll number two and then this is uh, sorry roll number is two and then uh, it is passed so that's why it is true okay so this is how you can also insert elements inside your structure and let's say if you want to return a particular value from your structure let's say instead of uh, you know instead of getting the whole values you want a uh, let's say only the name from your structure in that case what you will do is you will simply write s1 and the name okay of these values so let's say i want to return the name so i will write s1 dot name and definitely since you are returning the name and this name is of string data type right it's a string data type so you cannot use student memory here okay so let me do this in a different function so that you are not confused i will again create one function and let's say get name and in this i will again remove this i will have string memory okay and then i will write s1 dot name okay so now by this function you can return the name from this particular function okay in the same way if you want to return roll number you will write s1 dot roll and then you have to change this data type to uint and if you are returning a bull then again you have to change bull and then s1 dot pass so in this way you can create structures in solidity in this way you can insert get values from structures in solidity i hope you enjoyed this video meet you soon in the next video